Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite Chaos Legion Summoner and why if you have the funds you should try to go give it a leveled up one if you can. So stay tuned. Hello, hola, moin, privet, kamusta, my friends. This is Luke with Luke Place to Earn. I am helping the small investors, the little tiny krills in this ocean to survive, to not be whale food, and one day maybe become a whale ourselves. So let's get started today. It's just a quick video. I'm going to do a longer video in depth of what my strategy is for buying into Chaos Legion. But today I want to share with you my favorite summoner and talk why it's so important to go get a leveled up one if you have the funds to do so. So my favorite summoner that I am trying to level up is Quick the Devious. And you might be thinking, well, duh, that's an obvious choice. It's the only legendary summoner out so far. But uh, besides that, here is why I am leveling up to a level two. I have two of them so far. I have another bid on Peak Monsters to hopefully grab me one for somewhere around 20 to $25, depending on what the bid comes in. Now, here's a couple of reasons why I think you should be going for a level two quicks. One, you might be thinking it's an expensive card. It's you know, right now, I think the low ball right now is about 29 bucks here on the market. We've seen it dip down to 26 at some point. And you might be thinking, okay, that's way more expensive than if you go on the market and those other summoners are about $4 a piece. Here's the thing that you need to realize about though. A quicks for level two is only three cards. That's five commons that it unlocks, level five commons, level four rares, level three epics, and level two legendaries for all of your deck. So you can use dragon plus whatever, fire, water, you know, earth, life, or death. Now, if you go to any of the other rare summoners, you can see that for those same unlocked monsters, five, four, three, two, you need a level four rare. So that is 25 cards. So we switch over to the market here. You can see at the lowest price, 415 for Kelia. For a level four, you need 25 copies. That's gonna run you over a hundred dollars. Even General Sloan, the cheapest here, gonna come in a little bit cheaper than that, $77.50. Again, even though Quix is $29 here, you only need three of them. So it's 88 bucks, a little more expensive than a level four General Sloan, but even cheaper than a level four Kelia, and you get to unlock the same amount of monsters. Again, why it's important is because I think at a you know a silver level deck, even low gold three, you can argue you can push this deck into. Uh, level five commons is a lot of break points for these monsters. Sometimes they get new abilities at level five or important stats. Level four rare, sometimes again, they get some important stats that are added. And so just having these leveled up monsters, level two legendaries, most legendaries at level two get an extra ability as well. For instance, Naga Assassin at level four gets backfire, which returns the attacker damage if they miss. And with five speed plus quicks, giving them minus one speed, a lot of the times you'll have 30 to 40% of a chance to miss the Naga Assassin on something like a sneak or a snipe attack. Or take Venari Bonesmith at level four, it gets poison, which is a huge buff to this card because then you can potentially land poison and start doing two damage each round to their tank. Or take this common, for example, the Supply Runner, at level five will give you swiftness. So not only with quicks could you do minus one speed to their entire team, you could use other slows like the time mage or creeping ooze, and then you can use supply runner to add swiftness. So then you're, you're stacking in stats that potentially could give your team, you know, 40, 50, 60% miss chance uh, using this quick stick. Another card you could use for this is another six bucks. It's the Void Dragon with five speed flying and void. It can actually be a pretty decent tank or an, an absorption to the sneak attack or snipe attack because you're gonna have so many chances using this quick decks to make them miss. Now you might be thinking quicks at you know 80 bucks for a level two is quite a bit of money. And so for some of us, that's gonna be out of reach. But for some of us, maybe we can just buy quicks for the 80 bucks and then we're thinking, okay, but we're not gonna have any money left over to buy the leveled up monsters that we need. And I just wanna show you that even though that might be the case, that if you keep playing this game long enough and you just have a leveled up quicks, you're gonna earn yourself reward cards and quicks at level two is gonna unlock some good potential even in just these reward cards as you get them and combine them. For instance, Pelicor Conjurer, if you leveled up to level four, which quicks could handle, now adds magic reflect to this card only at two mana and can get to five health or you can even combine it another level to get six health. Pelicor Bandit at level four gets another attack and another speed, which is a huge thing for the water deck. I already mentioned Naga's 
Assassin gets backfire at level four. Venari Wavesmith, another magic damage at level four. Same thing with Venari Crystal Smith, an extra range damage at level four. Chwala, Uraeus, Lava Launcher, Dijin, Renova all get extra damage as you level them up. And then eventually, if you get some legendaries, you can get Harklaw, can get immunity, which is great for countering poison battles. Or my favorite, Jin Oshanis here at level two gets phase, which means now with using the quick stacks, uh, not only will it dodge range and melee, but it can also dodge magic damage, which is huge for this deck. But even with just a level two quicks, I think you could potentially spend all your money in that and still get enough reward cards across all your other decks because dragon will unlock you to play dragon plus whatever else you want will help you level up reward cards and get use out of them rather than just leveling up a Kelia and then you only have the water deck option Quix is going to unlock leveled up cards for all of your decks if Dragon is available for that matchup. Now let me just show you a couple example matches that I have. Uh, these are even without the full leveled up cards. Uh, this is before I had a level 4 Naga Assassin for Backfire. But you can see even just the Void Dragon at 5 speed plus flying, plus my minus 1 speed from Quix and Time Age. This team is already slow, but it's going to nerf them down to 1, which means Void Dragon uh, against 1 speed has a... 65% chance to miss for each attack, plus it's gonna negate the magic damage. So you can see even though that his Gargoyle Scrapper level up is going to negate some of my magic damage, just look at how crazy this team is and how many misses I get from playing the Void Dragon in the first spot. Four misses, five misses, six misses, seven misses, eight misses, nine misses, and it just keeps going. The party just keeps on going and Honestly, the most fun thing in this game, the most tilting thing is, is when you miss, but the most fun is when you can make your opponent miss, you know that they're getting tilted and you're just sitting here having a good time laughing, watching them miss your team over and over again. Again, sorry about this. I saved this battle on my phone, but not my desktop. So it wouldn't give me the correct ratio when I tried to replay. So you'll get the phone version. But it, again, here you can see in a matchup like this with blast damage, having the extra speed is super important. So minus one from quicks, minus one from creeping ooze. They already have a slow team, you could argue. So maybe they, you know, they would lose anyways here. But you can see just having this extra speed for something like a blast damage, I can take out their entire team before they can even get a single attack off here. It's quite hilarious to watch this go, but you can see here that just like that, we take down their entire team with a couple leveled up cards and quicks to slow them down. And then here, this one, we can actually talk about how quicks can counter Yoden because it gives the minus one range, so it nerfs that from Yoden, and it gives them less speed. And the biggest thing people ask, how do you beat Yoden? Well, if you want to beat Yoden, essentially it just comes down to making them miss. Every time you make them miss, it potentially saves you from taking not just one damage, not just two damage, but if they hit you with an opportunity or a snipe attack, sometimes that can be three monsters taking damage from Blast. And so here, this is uh, pretty important, even though uh, I would say he gets some lucky hits because most of the time they should have a 50% chance or so to miss with this team. Uh, you know, we still do a good job just having that extra speed to kill off some of his teammates first so that they can do less damage. And then sometimes we get a miss or two here so we can actually uh, save ourselves from that blast damage and have enough in the tank to keep going and survive long enough to actually take down a Yoden here. And so if you're wondering how to beat Yoden, I think Quicks. Uh, not every time is going to counter it, but potentially there's a lot of opportunity if you have enough misses to beat Yoden and take him down once and for all. So there you go. There's a quick tip of what I'm doing for Chaos Legion. I have more to come here with what I'm doing as far as leveling up my decks to eventually get to that silver uh, 2, 1, and even gold 3 playing level. And I think you're crazy if you have the funds not to go grab yourself a level two quicks. I know that not everyone can do so, but even if you don't have the funds, just know that this is a great card to rent. This is what I've been doing in all of my gold rental strategies is having a single deck that I rent it into gold and then a level two quicks that I also rent to round out my strategy. So that's what I'm doing. Let me know what you guys think about quicks, but I'm having lots of fun with quicks and I think level two is pretty powerful, especially with the reward cards that you can now level up. That's it for now. Peace out. Adios and have a great day.